imagine it's a bright sunny day and the temperature seems to be rising gradually. What kind of outfit will you prefer while going out in the sun? Light and soft cotton clothes. That's what I would choose. Same holds true for furnishing. We would prefer soft and comfortable bed sheets and pillow covers made up of cotton. Many such amazing applications make cotton the most integral part of our lives and also the first choice among other fibers. So where does the story of cotton begin? It begins from these soft spongy bowls seen on the cotton plant. Let's get started with them. The cotton plants require a lot of sunshine and a typically tropical climate with medium rainfall. Once the cotton bowl, which is the fruit-like structure containing the cotton fibers matures, it bursts open and the snow white cotton fibers are exposed. These bowls are collected and drawn into yarns. But wait, don't you think we need to separate the seeds and the soft fluffy part first? Well, that can be carried out either manually or these days mostly with the use of machines. The process of separating the seeds and the fibers is called as ginning. Once ginning is successfully carried out, the fibers are taken for the next step. The next step is spinning. What do we mean by spinning? It's simply the process of making yarn from fibers. Remember the series? Fibers make up yarn and yarn makes the fabric. So fibers are the naturally occurring threads. These need to be drawn into long and continuous filaments. These long filaments are the yarns. And these yarns are the ones that are woven into fabrics. So spinning is the process where the threads are converted into yarns. But how is this done? If you take a cotton thread between your palms and press it gently by rolling it this way, what you get is a slender long filament like structure. This is nothing but yarn. We know that there are tons of threads that are spun into yarn every day. But if this is how spinning occurs, then imagine the amount of effort needed to make yarn out of so much of cotton. How is it done then? Of course, there are machines which help us do that. In countries like India, since many years the traditional equipments like charkha were used. However, with the advancement in the field of technology, newer machines to spin the threads into yarn are now available. With this, we complete the first major step of cotton collection and spinning the thread into yarn. Now we need to make fabric out of the yarn. Let's see that in the next video.